urged countries to vaccinate more people against COVID-19, warning that COVID-19 Delta variant has been detected in at least 98 countries and continues to evolve and mutate. Speaking during a media briefing, WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom said the world is witnessing a very dangerous phase compounded by the rapid transmission of the Delta variant, as Andrew Nikilemi reports. COVID-19 Delta variant is quickly becoming the dominant strain in many countries and continues to evolve and mutate. With the World Health Organization warning that Africa is in the most dangerous phase of the pandemic. In those countries with low vaccination coverage, terrible scenes of hospitals overflowing are again becoming the norm. But no country on earth is out of the woods yet. The Delta variant is dangerous and is continuing to evolve and mutate, which requires constant evaluation and careful adjustment of the public health response. Speaking during a bi-weekly media briefing, WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom said the Delta variant, which was identified in India, has been detected in at least 98 countries and is spreading quickly in countries with low and high vaccine dose rate. By the end of this September, we're calling on leaders to vaccinate at least 10% of people in all countries. This would protect health workers and those at most risk effectively ending the acute stage of the pandemic and saving a lot of lives. WHO further underlining that there are essentially two ways for countries to lower the surging COVID-19 numbers. Public health and social measures like strategic testing and early case detection among them. Isolation and clinical care remain critical, as well as masking physical distance Avoiding crowded places and keeping indoor areas well ventilated are the basis for the response. Data from the Ministry of Health indicate that a total of 1,473,869 vaccines have so far been administered across the country. 277 people have tested positive for coronavirus from a sample size of 3,796 tested in the last 24 hours. This bringing the total confirmed positive cases to 185,000. 868. Four patients have succumbed to the disease in the last 24 hours, bringing the total number of fatalities to 3,675. 699 people have recovered in the last 24 hours. The total recoveries now stand at 127,625. Andrina Akilemi, TV 47. Elsewhere, transmitment.